is James Lutton for Slough Box, sponsored by the Excelsior Sporting Club. Today, I'm joined by Ollie Cooper. Uh, you are fighting on our sponsor's show tomorrow, the Excelsior Sport, Sporting Club. Excuse me. Uh, first of all, let's talk about that fight. How excited are you to be appearing tomorrow night? Yeah, excited. Um, when when Scott first announced, uh, he was obviously bringing the 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 club to my hometown, um, bringing all the big fighters there. Um, I knew it was something I wanted to be on straight away because um, I know Scott can attract the big names as it is anyway. Um, so, yeah, really excited. It's going to be massive for my career. Um, so, yeah, I think it's great. You mentioned he can attract the big names. Not only that, he's already bringing in the big names in terms of the um, punditry team and the, the guys who are there, the hosts of the show. You've got Ray Mancini, <clears> former <throat> world champion. Steve Bunce, who's a well-known name in the boxing media and boxing world over here in the UK and America as well. Richie Woodall, obviously, from his commentary with BT Sport, alongside Steve Bunce as well. So he's got these big names who work for the big shows, the biggest platforms in the UK and America with Ray Mancini. And they're coming over to Canuck and they're hosting the shows that you'll be performing on tomorrow night. How much of a boost is that for you to perform in front of these guys? Massive. Massive, mate, honestly. Um, when you've got such big eyes looking down on you. Um, it's, it's it's my chance to show him, really. Like you say, with, with the stat being, having the big names there, you want to put on a good performance. You want to make sure, I think, oh, Holly Cooper was good the last time I saw him. You know, etch, etch my name into the back of their minds. So that's what we're looking for, and uh, hopefully it'll pay off. As you mentioned, Scott, he runs the club there, Scott Murray. And I believe Scott has said the plan is for yourself to appear on these shows the next three or four fights. Um, again, just how exciting is that for you to know that you've already got a bit of a, a plan and a bit of a route on what you're going to be doing? Yeah, it's, it's brilliant for me, obviously. Like I said previously, with Scott having such a big contact list um, and for me to have a, his confidence in me, um, it, it's, like I say, it's huge. Um not only for my career, but for myself mentally, obviously pushes me on to perform the best I can. Um, so, yeah, I just think it's brilliant. Like you say, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the, what the future holds. I believe it's also taken a bit of pressure off you as well in the build-up with ticket selling. You're not having to oh, sell okay. tickets. You know, you before, yeah, yeah. as you know yourself, you know, you're know, 5 and 0 currently. They've all been on small hall shows and you're having to graft before you even get in the ring by selling these tickets drive around, you know, send them out, collect them, collect the money, etc. Here, you don't have to do that. That's all done by the club. How much yeah. of a benefit is that to you and how much less pressure do you feel? Oh, don't worry. You're good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, bro. Um, no, it's huge. Um, obviously, before, like you say, it's a task in itself. You've got your dieting, your training, making sure you're on weight. You've got all these elements um, being put together. Um and then with the ticket selling on the side, it's just added stress. Um, like you say, the joy, the late night joy is dropping the tickets off, chasing money. Um, it, it's just added pressure and stress to yourself that you don't always need. Um, so for me to not sell tickets on this one and, and sort of Scott promote it itself, it's just a massive help with me with all aspects of, of the professional games. So now it's, it's really good. Not only as well the, the pressure on you to sell the tickets, but also for your own financial gain. You know, I know fighters on a small hall circuit who maybe not sell as much many tickets as they need to to pay for their opponent and then pay themselves as well, as well as their team. You know, they walk away sometimes paying out their own pocket after their purse. You know, again, is that something else that is a benefit for yourself and again just a bit of a relief for yourself? Yeah, of course. I mean, and uh, it, another bonus for it is I know I can stay active. I know lads who haven't been able to sell the tickets, so they can't fight at all. As like you say, they can't pay their opponents. So they've had to pull out. You know, with this, it's being able to stay active, keep performing, uh, build a resume and make an eye for myself. So, yeah, it's huge. Absolutely. And you'll be fighting Dwayne Cheeky Grant. Um in terms of Dwayne, obviously he's a tough, tough journeyman. We know what he's about. He's a guy who really gets stopped. We know he's he'll, he'll take you the distance. Not much of your opponents have already. How he, much he's pulled out now? He's pulled out, you know. Has he? Okay. He pulled out to, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a replacement uh, in Pavel Garage. I believe that's right. 
Um, but very similar to Dwayne, exactly what you just explained. He's only been stopped once um, in 50 odd bouts. So n- not an easy task. Um, I can see myself just out boxing, out classing him, uh, and just giving him a boxing lesson. That's something you've done all your pro career so far is outclassing your opponents, boxing around them, winning nearly every round, if not all of them. Now, yep. for yourself, how much of a benefit is that to you in your career and your progress and your your confidence as well, you know, knowing that you are, you know, obviously you're taking these guys a distance, but you're meant to. They're there to help you. They're there to teach you in the ring as well as be your opponent. These guys really, really get stopped. How much benefit do you see in fighting these guys? Listen, everyone I've been in with so far, all the, the, the five blokes I've been in so far have been experienced. They know the game. They know the trade. Um, and they're no fault. It's not like they've flown someone in from another country and they they fall over after a couple of punches. You know these these blokes have been work have been working me. Um, and like you say, it's just a benefit to me because um, I'm able to gain experience, learn the, the little tricks here and there, build my craft myself. Um, but yeah, like you say I haven't lost a round yet. Um, I'd like to think I'm I'm untouchable at the minute, but yeah, I think these guys have just given me great experience just to keep moving forward. Um, I think as as I progress more and the, the guys start to come forward, a bit more 50-50 fights, then I'll start putting people away um, as they're throwing something. I can count, I come back. Um, but for now, it's all about building my building my uh, resume, learning the trade uh, with the from amateur to professional. Um, but yeah, it's just gathering experience. Some people can get frustrated by not putting opponents away at this stage, and they want to go for the knockout. They want to be that that flashy, that classy, that that showman as such. You, I get the impression you're not fussed on it. You know it's going to come. You know at the oh, minute. Excuse me. You're right. You, you know at the moment that it's this is what you're learning. This is what you're building towards. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, I'll I'll always say. I'm hard on myself after every fight. Not necessarily in the fact that I should have put them away, um, but certain things I've worked on in the gym I wasn't able to get off. Um, but yeah, I, I, I take as much as I can from each fight. As you say, putting people up, not putting people away, sorry, doesn't bother me. I know I've got the power. You know, I've been I've been sparring with top level kids um, that are my age, slightly a bit older, and hurting them in sparring because they've got that sort of style where they're coming forward. So I know I can hurt people. I know it's there. It's just about building building myself up um, and just progressing as more as I go along. This is, and you know with these guys, that, like you mentioned, that experience journey when they're tough guys, you, they're not going to give you these openings that come forward fighters will give you. No. No, God, exactly. It, it's... It's the best word, but you, you can't you can't buy this sort of experience, you know. With these tough guys, um, they've been around a long time. Young press prospects like myself can learn a lot from them. I think they're definitely overlooked most of the time. I get a lot of people say to me, "Oh, you're fighting this guy. He's had fights. He's, he's lost ninety eight. What well, is he any good to you?" But it's all about learning the trade from them. Um, that they've got a lot to give in a sport and we bet that these guys, it, the sport would be nothing, you know, so it, it's really good to have them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as you mentioned, um, I wasn't aware, but Dwayne Grant had pulled out. Um, does that change anything for you in terms of the build-up? Or, I mean, when was it he pulled out? Two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, two weeks ago. But no, <laughs> nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. I'm still going to go in there, punch someone's head in for six rounds and get out of there. Um, unscathed so it, it'll it just it'll keep me on my toes you know in terms of maybe slight changes style um, but it's nothing I can't deal with anyway so just go in there and put on the best performance I can Fantastic and you mentioned a little bit earlier the transition between sort of amateur to pros uh, you did have a little bit of a, a gap between your fourth and fifth fight I think it's about 11 12 month gap between the two fights. So you had a little bit of a layoff there, a bit of an activity. Um, but in terms of the transition itself, how are you finding that? A lot of people can struggle with this change of styles. Yeah, definitely. 
um, with it being a lot slower pace. It's two different games completely. Um, like you say, that, that gap in between my fourth and my fifth, I need to take some time to myself, um, sort myself out mentally. Um, I had to take my mind out of places that I never thought it would be in. You know, is this game for me? Do I want to continue? Um, did a bit of soul searching, you know, for a few months. Because um, as you say, it, it is tricky switching from that amateur style, bouncing up and down for three rounds, um, point scoring. It, it's hard to get into that slower pace, kind of slow the work down. Um, but I think I'm finding my feet now. Um, I know my coach, Rich, keeps getting on to me. Just take every round by round, just take it round by round, slow the pace down, and you'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, it's it's definitely something we're working on the gym constantly, just trying to drill um, that slower pace fighting into me. Um, as Because after this one, I want to just keep moving up. So it's, the rounds are going to get higher and higher. So that slower pace, I think it'll suit me anyway. Um, a bit of a slow starter, but no, it's, um, it's definitely something we're always working on. And just finally, last question from me, Ollie. So I mentioned earlier, Scott has said, the plan is for you to be on his show the next three or four fights ahead. So you've got a little bit of a route there, as I say. He, his plan for you is to hopefully fight for a Midlands title on one of his shows, whether it be in this year or next year. We don't know. Mm. Is that something that excites you? Is that something that you want? And how soon do you want that? How how soon will you be ready for that? As soon as possible. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm ready now. So I put said, I've been sparring. Not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, sparring Aaron McKenna, as we know, has just won the WBC inter- international title. Yeah. Troy Coleman, big, big, highly ranked in the WBC Asian scene, you know, and I'm I'm putting up a fight with these guys, you know, I'm not getting uh, done over. It, it's good 50-50 spars. Um, so I just don't think anyone in the, in the Midland area can match me, really. I think um, he's going there... Um, not win easily, but um, I'll definitely back myself uh, to go and take that title. And like you say, I just want it as soon as possible. Get this six round out of the way. Um, and if possible, have it towards the end of the year, maybe start of next year, depending on what Scott um, has got lined up for me. But um, he's the man in charge. He'll tell me what to do. But like I say, I want it as soon as possible. Fantastic. Well, Ollie, thank you for your time. All the best of luck for tomorrow. We'll speak again soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me.